Okay, so for time purposes, I already based my eye with Too Faced Shadow Insurance and Groundwork Paint Pot. Next, we're going to go in with this gold color from the palette with any flat brush that you have. And go from the inner corner of the eye. And out, you want to go about two-thirds across the eye, leaving that very outer corner. And you want to pack this color on. It has a lot of fallout, so I do have loose powder under my eye. And that's another reason why we want to pack this color on. And you want to pack it slightly above your crease. Like so. Okay, so once we are okay with that, we want to take um, a pencil brush and go in with that next color, this blue color here. And just go in that outer corner and we're going to create the shape that we want. So you create that V and then you actually want to dab that pack it all the way in almost like a cut crease and you want to go right before you get to the end of that slope so right where it starts to slope down and just pack that on and then go a little further in on that lash line there next um, take any brush shape like this I'm using my MAC 222 and dip it slightly in that color and now we just want to smoke out the corners onto that lower lash line and where we have it in our crease you see how we're blending that and you add color as need to for the intensity Your primary focus should be those smoking out this outer corner. Because we are going to lose the, some color up in here, but we're going to boost that back up a little later. So no worries. So really get that smoked out. And what I'm doing is making sure I match it up with the other side. And you want to make sure you go in far enough. like so okay I'm happy with that next wipe that brush off go in with this color here that coppery pewter color dip it in the same brush and then just go slightly above it you see how it just gives it dimension and I like to start from the middle working in and then out. And a little goes a long way because this color is so potent. So don't overdo it. Just literally tap it in there and build it as you need to. And this one you want to go further in past like that slope. Like so. Okay, so once you are satisfied with that, and I am, we want to take a flat brush, and this is the only color that I'm not going to use this in a palette, and use Soba or any um, highlight color that's pretty neutral because you don't want to take away from the eye, and go right underneath that brow bone. And I'm growing my eyebrows out so I know they are scruffy. You're going through a transition. Okay. And it should look like so. Next, we're going to go back in with that same brush and that copper color, the 222 brush, and just touch back up the color we lost. And it also helps marry the two colors. 
Next, go in with yet a thinner brush, and this is my 223, a really pointy brush. Back in with that blue, and we're going to go right in there and intensify that color. You see that? And lightly intensify it. You just want to dab it in because the colors are really potent, which is great. Color payoff is good, but once you start blending them, it dissipates. Okay, so it should look like so. And then if you need to, you can touch back up that goldy color. And then take I'm taking my MAC 209 brush or any flat brush you have. And I'm going in with this light color here for my waterline. Waterline for my tear duct. Like so. Next, take a, um, I'm using an eyeliner brush going in with that blue. And I'm just going to pop that underneath my lower lash line. And see where the fallout comes in. At. It really falls out. So I just like to first pack it on there. And then lightly blend it. Okay. And I'm going to go in with just any black liner you have. This is Urban Decay's 24-7. And go in your waterline just a, a little bit. Because I want to keep the eye open so I'm not going to go all the way in. That's as far in as I'm going to go. I'm going to take the pencil brush again. And I'm going to go in with carbon and just set it. Okay, so that's it. The only thing I'm going to do off camera is line my lower lash line. And I'm going to use this pewter color here first. And then I'm going to go over it with Rich Ground by MAC, which is this color here. If it can focus. But it's like a brown, coppery color. The camera's having a hard time focusing this color. But it's the same color um, as that as this here. So I'm going to go in with this. I'm going to set it with rich ground and then I'm going to go back over it with that. And then that will give us our completed look. So I'll come back with the final. And I'm going to use mascara. Of course. Here is our completed look. I'm going to zoom in so you can get a good look. These are our, these are our eyes. <laughs> Mesmerizing, I know. We are so good together. So hope you enjoy. I will post a few pics at the end. Although there is a separate video already with quite a few pics. On the lips I use Jazz Lipstick by MAC. And Natural Lip Liner by NYX. And for the cheeks I use Devil Blush. So if you would like to see more tutorials. Specific colors or events that you have coming up leave a comment below if you recreate this look please do a video response i would love to see how it looks on you know you guys everybody face shapes eye shapes are different and we all rock things differently so i want to see you know what you guys come up with thanks for tuning in and i'll be coming to you with more